Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee and welcome to AKD Support and if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it. What you need to do is you need to just hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that whenever we are launching a new video, so that will be reached to you right away. So let's move to the video now. Hello, in this particular video, I will show you how to use the server manager and add our Hyper-V machine to this particular uh, this particular console uh, or a dashboard what you see server manager dashboard so that we can manage that particular machine remotely okay so what you need to do is for that I need to uh, select all servers and then I will right click and hit add server okay so this is the domain which is selected and now we need to put the name of our server that is hyper hyper v hyper if I do a hyper I will find and it will list okay so I will select this I will click uh, this arrow and I will click OK so it will try to uh, scan the system and check the authenticity and then it will add okay so you can see uh, this uh, machine is activated as I said it is a free from Microsoft and it's pre-activated and now this machine is being added and you can manage this machine remotely from here okay so if I right click on this particular machine I can do add roles and features and I can uh, I can launch PowerShell. I can do configurations like teaming. I can manage. I can open computer management to see the events and all. Okay, so it's very easy. Let me show you the add remove uh, program. Okay, so I will go to add roles and features. I will click next. I just want to show you that what are the things are available in this particular box. Okay, so you can see nothing much, nothing much really. So this box uh, we can see Hyper V role is installed and other than this uh, these things which you can also see okay so that means this system is specifically made for Hyper-V okay so in the next video I will show you up how you can um, work with this computer management and I will also install the Hyper-V manager on this particular machine so that we can manage this uh, uh, manage this Hyper-V right from this particular box okay